In today's The Lot, a new film explores the life of an 18th century French classical composer. The Lot, Suzanne Marquez joins us with more on this one. Suzanne. It's really cool, and I've seen the commercials everywhere. Finally got to see it and interview the cast. It's just wonderful. It's a piece of history. Oh. We're learning a lot about history in the <laughs> movies lately, right? So many names we hadn't heard of. Chevalier is the French word for night. It's the incredible true story of Joseph Malone, nicknamed the Black Mozart, a celebrated violinist, composer, and fencer who had an ill-fated love affair and falling out with his student, Marie Antoinette. <laughs> Kelvin Harrison Jr. stars as Chevalier de St. George and Chevalier on the heels of playing B.B. King in Elvis and is also set to star as Dr. King and Jean-Michel Basquiat in two more movies. But Chevalier is a historical figure largely forgotten by history, dubbed the Black Mozart for his incredible talents on the violin. And you're playing these incredible historical figures. It's such a beautiful, um backstory, you know, to think that he was this kid who just had um, an interest in, in, in music and in this violin. Boy has talent, but one in particular that is exceptional. Very well. <laughs> he was also a notorious ladies man and a close confidant of Marie Antoinette, played by Lucy Boynton. What was it like embodying one of the most famous people in history at such a glamorous but tumultuous time. I still haven't found the vocabulary to describe it really. It was a crazy experience getting to walk onto those sets and really feel completely immersed in that world. And when you're doing a period piece of that kind of scale and also d detachment from everything that your everyday looks like, it's really satisfying being able to just completely, completely lose yourself in it. You are quite a remarkable man, Joseph. I, Marie Antoinette, Queen of France, hereby anoint you Chevalier. In any other country, a man of your color would not be wearing such fine clothes. So I heard a story that Prince may have been part of your inspiration. Yeah, I mean, listen, all the way from the purple jacket, you know, at the final moment, it's given purple rain, you know? And just finding, like, you know, that androgyny, like you said, and just Prince's way of being playful and fun and really just saying, you can't bound, restrict me to your rules. I will be who I want to be, and you either want me or dismiss me. Prince inspiration. Right? It looks so good. I it know. Does. It is. And it's gorgeous. Like, if you love period pieces, yes. I loved the, the clothes. Oh, yes. my goodness. Yes. 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 So, and I love that you're channeling a little Prince action, too, Ooh. from your hometown. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne, thank you.